Hi, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com, KillerPHP.com, KillerVideoStore, anyway, a bunch of sites. In this video blog, I want to briefly talk about Facebook versus Google+. They're both social networks. And one big issue that uh, concerns me, and a good business lesson, and a life lesson, I suppose. Well, I don't know about life lesson, but anyway, here it goes, here we go. You got Google Plus and you got Facebook. Google Plus is just starting to rise pretty quickly. The big difference between Google Plus and Facebook is uh, Google Plus is far more, I think it's better organized, easier to know what's going on. And one of the most important aspects of that organization is the security. Google Plus makes it much more, um, it's much easier to create you know, private content, if you will, on your profile. Whereas with Facebook, they really make it difficult. Uh, like the privacy settings is just, is this a real mess? And I blogged about this recently, uh, text blog. And, uh, you know, when you have a situation there where the um, configuration for something is very complex, it's either because A, the, the programmers are incompetent, or B, they're purposefully trying to make it harder for you to make aspects of your profile private. I personally believe that they're doing the latter. I personally I have no insider information, it's just a speculation based on my experience. I think they're purposefully making it hard and convoluted to make information private because that's what Facebook does. They sell your information and they want to be able to sell detailed profiles about all these people so they can sell it to marketers, the FBI maybe, if you're that rumor or whatnot. That's a problem because, um, I don't know about you guys, I think it's, it's, it's not a good idea to have all your personal information out there on the web uh, that is freely accessible and, or accessible for a price because, you know, you've heard of identity theft, right? And the way to protect yourself is to have some aspects of, you know, at least some aspects of your life to be, uh, you know, anonymous, to be secret. Uh, so you got to be careful about that, uh, the whole privacy thing. That's, that's just me. Um, another reason why I think um, they're doing it on purpose at Facebook, and again, I emphasize, I think, I have no insider knowledge here, is that... Uh, I've learned in business the last 18, 20 years I've been in business, that whenever you have something that's unnecessarily complex, like a contract or whatnot, it's usually done so because people are trying to hide something. It's a smokescreen. It's a way to hide the true intentions. That's why you have very thick contracts a lot of times. It's a very common tactic, actually, where they put in, they, they wanted like 10,000 pages so that people can't figure out what the hell's going on. They can hide all kinds of little details. It, it changes everything on the front page, right? Uh, that's why, for instance, the least recent uh, Wall Street legislation in the U.S. It was like 15,000 pages or 1,500 pages or something. Some ridiculous number of pages, whereas the previous legislation that worked very well, Glass-Steagall, I know I'm going into details, but I'm getting to a point. The previous legislation that was very effective from the 1930s to keep the banks from playing their little games uh, was only 15 pages. 15 pages versus like 1,500 or 15,000. So the reason the one in the 1930s was 15 pages and it was quite effective is because it was, it was, you know, they weren't trying to hide stuff. It was very simple to the point, banks can only do this and they can't do that. Whereas when you have the 1,500-page document or 15,000-page, I forget what it is now, uh, it's reason it's so complex is because they're trying to, they're putting in all these little ifs and buts and yeah, in this situation, and they're hiding all this stuff so people won't see it, right? So that's, that's uh, keep that in mind. So I say it's a life lesson or a business lesson because I always tell people when you're doing web design work or web programming work and you're maybe setting up contracts, signing contracts, keep them very simple. Very simple contracts are very simple to defend and are very simple to understand. If you have complexity in the contract, you're, you're, you're asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble, you're going to spend all kinds of money on lawyers and you're probably going to get, in the end, that means screwed. So uh, there you have it. So. 
Personally, we do use Facebook just a tiny bit, but I got all kinds of uh, fans of killer sites on there. You know, I don't really use it much uh, because I don't want people to know all my personal business, even though I'm, I'm public in a sense. I think it's just a bad thing. I would, uh, I'm not that I use it very much as well. I'm not a social networking guy. You might want to go more into like a, a Google Plus, maybe simply because you get better security controls and so on. And you know, you know, you don't want to get divorced or lose your job because of some stupid photos you posted on Facebook or some stupid photos or stories that your friends posted on Facebook about you. Then your your prospective employer sees this and says that's inappropriate, and you get fired anyway. You get the idea. So uh, there you go. Not directly tech related, but. Um, you know, you can just shut off the video anytime you like.